notification I did not think it would be this bad and I did not think I would actually just not do anything at all and like paint or whatever I think the only good thing is that I went to the gym but even that I took a break from it because of my wrist so that's amazing considering I had so many plans for this summer I was like I'm gonna paint every week I will post videos about it yada 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 well that didn't go according to plan because my wrist was a bitch to me I'm speaking all over the place right now but truth be told I did not prepare for this like whole vent voiceover thing I just want to talk about what happened and there's a lot that happened in this painting and this process so I just want to talk about it and maybe you'll enjoy it I don't know especially now that I have like 200 subs which is weird it's a lot of people and I don't know if most of them will unfollow me now considering they I gained them from YouTube shorts and honestly I don't know if that's good or not I just it took me so long to use this future which is it's quite telling of how my brain works and how smart I am so yeah everything is all over the place but let me start with my hands and summer and that's why I never uploaded much actually I sprained my wrist and let me tell you when I thought this whole thing was just a little pain here and there it's gonna take two days or so no it took two months it took two months and a half and that was not fun that the pain was not fun I woke up in the middle of the night because of it it was so weird how bad it had gotten and I didn't even believe it would get this bad like I didn't think a, a wrist sprain was this fucking painful dude no like I really couldn't fight with it even during this process my wrist was in pain because of it <laughs> my wrist was in pain I had to take a lot of breaks in between just to rest my fucking wrist I would be like yeah I can I can continue on and all of that but like my wrist was suffering and you might say like well why didn't you let it rest more because bitch it took so long it was taking so long I don't know why it took so long for me or maybe I just didn't really think it would it would be this serious I mean my bone is still out so I don't know if it's just like this it, it's like that's how it will be or not but I know I said I love it it's pretty and all but you know I gotta complain first the background I wanna know what is the benefit of painting the background different color please help me here because every time I do that and I paint with oils okay like I painted the background with acrylic which I don't know if it made a difference or not and mind you if you don't know already I don't take classes I'm not in art school I don't have anybody to tell me anything I'm all alone in this so I don't know but painting it was a pain in the ass and sketching with paint is also pain in the ass and I don't know how people do it y'all y'all have some serious skills doing so and I don't think I'll ever reach that because it's seriously like amazing how people can just do, do that and be like oh that's good that's a good that's a good sketch I'm like no I, I think I can show you a picture of one like um, the sketch I did with the paint it was so bad it was so bad and so yellow I don't know why I, I made the color this yellow but it was so bad and I had to take a break from it that time I was like I need to just think about something else and I had to repaint over it to just you know while sketching or painting if there's something in front of you it would distract me to just see like the shape of the head shit like that I don't know if it makes sense but it does to me or the hands too because that's a whole other story but boy it took like three coats of different color of paint to just get rid of it needless to say I don't think I would ever do that again honestly I just don't think so and uh, I probably would never try that again like if I will try to paint it another color 
or different one it would be so light and I think way different than the skin tone I have an issue with doing it like a warm tone I think that's my issue maybe I should like do the cool undertone stuff more for the background I mean I used it for this one while covering it up but like at the beginning maybe I should try that but that's the whole background thing if you have any like advice about it please tell me because I'm struggling here a lot hands you see the left one is okay it was so easy but the right one dude it took me so many tries I think I spent most of my time there not the face not the hair not the skull thing in between but no it's the hand and let me just say it's amazingly hard I, I did this like hand, like I sketched it before on paper. It was so fine. I, I don't know what happened, but it was so fine back then. While doing this painting, it was so bad. I don't know. And my wrist was sprained too. So there was no, there's no reason for it to be this bad. But I had to coat it as well with white because obviously like the pencil kind of ruined it because it kind of mixes and like smudges a little bit with the paint so it does not really create a cute look if you know what I mean but in most of the paintings I've done I've done that because I can't do it with paint and it usually works but with hands or like stuff that are this hard or like has so many steps and proportions and all of that you gotta take a break from it for a second you just gotta stop for a minute and rest a day or two and then go back to it i just can't do it in one day it ruins me <laughs> yeah i think i also think this face thing is like the most realistic one so far it's not like about realism it's more like the the proportions maybe and the colors they they just fit well compared to the other paintings i've done with faces and like normal skin tone not other colors just like blue or green or what's it called purple yeah no like with normal skin tone i think this is the most normal one because it's not too orangey it's not too warm you know it's it's neutral and warm for me is like it's like so red so red on the cheeks on the face even the highlights which is kind of makes no sense to be honest in this painting like in other paintings at least for well from my experience I guess um, so yeah I think I've done amazing at this one so far paint set stuff and this does not have to be like specifically this sad or anything this doesn't have to be this sad or like classified as sad but to me at the time it was describing how I feel and if you don't understand it you feel like shit basically most of the time so yeah I like doing this stuff I like them making cry I love making them cry I love making them look ugly I love making them look distraught screaming crying whatever it is it just it just makes me feel happier maybe I have issues but so yeah it feels nice to do it actually and I don't know if other people feel the same way but I sure do think I would stay on this lane for quite a while since I love doing so I love doing it and I hope somebody would love it too I think somebody else would like it like me I think somebody would understand it maybe but you describe it however you want to be honest it's not something that's like doesn't have to have like this specific meaning or definition to it it's just sad or like uh, just explain every state I'm in right now but yeah it's fun and I like it and I hope somebody else enjoys it and hopefully nobody unsubscribes to me
okay so i think this is the end of the video so yeah i hope you enjoyed it and hopefully i'll be back soon with uni videos and stuff since it's already now started i just didn't go so yeah i will see you next time and hopefully very soon hopefully nothing happens again like last time and thank you for watching